hello everyone welcome to my song tutorial Christmas edition this song is called we wish a Merry Christmas before start let me introduce myself my name is Masato I'm a guitar and ukulele instructor at musical surprise at surprise Arizona and we do offer zoom lessons so if you like to have a zoom lesson with me please contact the information below they will hook you up uh, to have a lessons with me if you like. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I made this arrangement in key of A. Nothing special, A chord, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, index finger goes to the first fret of the third string. And next chord will be D chord. This time I'm using bar on the second fret and if you look at right here it says b2 roman numeral which means bar on the second fret which will lead to b7 chord i'm using bar with middle finger on the third fret of the third string and go to e7 chord so let me Play the first line again goes like this one two now the first note e starts on the beat three it's a pickup note then you're gonna play the first a chord with the melody on top a now What people don't realize is you play open E so you do not do anything with the left hand and start playing E and bring the hand here to play like this if it's easy enough that's fine but what you could do to make it even easier is put your fingers down first then you start so you don't have to worry about bringing your hand and make sure it's on the right place. You just make sure first, then start. It's easier. It's mentally more secure too. Okay, now. A, B with the ring finger. Go back to A, then G sharp. Pinky. When you get there, you will prepare your index finger to go backward. Make sure you don't hit the first string. Melody is on the second string, F sharp. Then keep the bar and put the ring fin uh, middle finger on the third fret, third string. That's B sevens. B, B, C sharp. I said three. You could use pinky if you like. I sometimes use pinky too. Then open double lead to. E7s, we rake it up. Alright, let's look at the big screen, alright? Okay, let's look at it from the beginning. One, two, three. Okay, let's go to the next line. This one goes to C sharp sevens. What is that, right? We played B sevens. We just go two frets up. B flat, a B, C, C sharp. Okay. C sharp to D. You have to put the ring finger to fifth fret. So you're gonna have a little bit of pivoting right here. 
then let go, four again, then seven, second fret, uh, second string, is a pinky. Right? Then, next chord is F sharp minor. Usually you play F sharp minor like this. In middle finger, index, and ring finger. But, if I did that, ta -da -da -da, so, there's a big gap here if you did that. How do I solve this problem? Now, pinky slides to second fret or second string. So the pinky didn't leave. It is the guide finger. Let me show you again. Oops. <laughs> like this. Slide. So you're using the ring finger, middle finger, and then pinky. Okay. Then, D chord again, bar chord. Now this time, you can play the first string, B. Alright. And, E7s. I should say E7s. And, A. Alright. Okay, let's select that. Let them close up. Alright. Pinky slide. people think so you can stick your ring finger into first string fifth fret pinky okay let's do the third line goes like this start with the a chord Okay, let's do the third line. Actually, start with the uh, pickup note to the uh, third line. So, start with the B. Ah, uh, no, E, sorry. E. much so regular a chord just create the melody and e sevens now i went to b7 looking like this your index finger slide up to second fret and then make it look like g chord but different strings third and fourth uh, fourth third and second string Play like that. And pinky goes to fourth fret. And if you let go, come back to F sharp here. And E sevens. Alright. Let's look at close up. Okay. A chord. E sevens. Next finger comes to second fret. Then make this triangle shape. Then pinky. Go back to two. It's already there. Don't have to move. E sevens. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So the last measure of the last line, play the E sevens. Usually you use the. Uh, ring finger for the second fret of the first string but this time leave a little early and then put the pinky on the second fret what yes the reason is so i can go up to fourth fret then put the two fingers for a chord 
So I'm using as a guide finger here. Then ring finger will place B and a A. You see? And C sharp minor. What is that? Put the pinky on the seventh fret and ba on the fourth fret. The melody note is E E E. I decided to do this. Fourth fret, third string, E, and open, open. Save notes. So that would be very interesting, right? And this last two measures is same as the last two measures of second line. So let me try. Two. Okay, let's look up up close. Okay, let's start from the uh, the last measure of the third line, E sevens, and a pinky slide to four. Seven A chord, B A C sharp, Ba seventh fret, fourth fret. Okay, then you're gonna go back to the very beginning. <laughs> Can you see that? Okay. Then you see this. It's not fine. It's called fine. That's the end of the song. Okay, let me try the whole song one more time for you. One, two, Okay, so this is the end of uh, ukulele tutorial. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy the song as well as the uh, all four songs I did for this season 2020. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to see you next time. And please subscribe and share the videos with your friends. Alright, thank you very much.